The original Jaws is one of the greatest movies ever made. It is a masterpiece in character development and a slow burn that created such suspense. It didn't matter that we didn't get to see the shark very much. And when we finally did get to see it, it was the greatest monster put to film, even though it looked pretty cheesy. And then along came Jaws 2, where they decided to get rid of all character development and slow burn suspense to be replaced with more of what audiences were talking about after the first movie, the shark. And since we need more time with the shark, we're going to do away with all the lessons they learned in the first movie so that they can learn them again in this movie. And the result was going from one of the best movies of all time to a pretty mediocre entertaining monster movie. And the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise decided to follow the same game plan. But instead of more sharks, they added a lot more jokes. Every other line in this movie is a joke. At one point in the movie, Peter Quill meets his father Ego, who tells him he's going to be the best father he can be from now on. And then for no reason stands up and says he has to take a piss. And later, in a very emotional moment, Peter Quill finds out that the Ego killed his mother, so he shoots him. And just for kicks, Ego turns into David Hasselhoff. I'm not saying the jokes aren't funny. A lot of them are. Some of them are just placed at inappropriate times. The other big issue in this movie is everyone has Black Widow level plot armor. Drax literally gets towed behind the ship while it's crash landing, with no injuries to show for it. In fact, he just laughs afterwards. But just like Jaws 2, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 shows us you can nitpick the most talked about parts of the first movie. Repeat them, but crank them up to 11. Have the characters relearn all the lessons they learned in the first movie and give audiences a copy of what they love, rather than something new and original. You can do all that, and still end up making a good movie that's better than most of its competition. The truth of the matter is, as a movie, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 should land right above Ant-Man and the Wasp. But the characters in this movie, and their dynamic, and my sheer love for the first movie, makes Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 a better movie than it should be.